Never did get any pictures of camp last night. There's a guy down there. And there's uh, the meadow with Upper Rock Creek Lake. Bill, the bear box. My tent, partially dismantled. Those two guys over there, they're doing the JMT also. And then uh, these guys up here were really loud last night. Anyway. <sighs> Breakfast in America. Take the long way home. And here we are departing Upper Rock Creek Lake. We are on the trail. I didn't even pay attention to the time. It's probably, I don't know, in between 7 and 7.30. And uh, we are beginning day two, August 3rd, Monday, 2020. And we can hear the Rock Creek waterfall right in front of us. And we're headed down to the JMT PCT Junction, at otherwise known as Lower Rock Creek, uh, where we will begin the canyon switchbacks up to the approach to Guyot Pass. Creek slowly meandering down to the junction. Just another day in paradise. One of the locals enjoying breakfast here on Rock Creek. Open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. Whoopee, we're all gonna hike. Uh, so here we are. We're at the junction. So we just came down from the Rock Creek Trail and now joining in with the PCT JMT. That's looking south. So this is the Nobo. And the Nobo would be us, Bo. So now we're descending into Rock Creek Canyon proper. Otherwise known as, uh, on the Gaia map, it's uh, referred to as Forgotten Canyon. Well, I remember it. I remember it well.
<clears throat> Crossing Rock Creek again. This time, for the last time, very likely, or definitely. We just finished the rise out of Rock Creek Canyon, home of the longest switchbacks in the Sierra, a switchback that never switches back. That's what it looks like on that first approach. It's like a continuous single track along the lines of the so-called European trails where they don't believe in switchbacks. Some European told me one time. Well, here we are. We have made it to Guyot Pass. <clears throat> and appropriately with Mount Guyot in the picture. We came right up there. So this is the third time I've been up over Guyot. Down there is the Rock Creek Canyon and these two peaks right here are sort of like the Sentinel two sentinels of the opening of Rock Creek Canyon, which continues to the west there and then does a rapid drop off into the Kern River Canyon. And here's an old blaze, something Guyot Pass. All right, well, we've reached that uh, strategic point where you can sort of see the back entrance to Whitney uh, with uh, Mount Russell, the very pointy one there in the very center of the screen, sticking up in the middle. And then this is uh, just a glimpse of, uh, in front of Mount Russell, a little to the left, is a glimpse of uh, Upper Crabtree Meadow. And then descending down to the trail down there, you can see that's our approach to Lower Crab Tree Meadow. And uh, whew, I ran out of water a little while ago, so I'm ready to do some major filtering and enjoy some of that nature's champagne. <laughs> uh, and what would a hike in this part of the trail be without the famous? Gate. Close this gate to protect wilderness. It was closed. Bill left it open for me. He's just ahead, so I will close it. Here we are. We've descended down to uh, Lower 
Crabtree Meadow where uh, Crabtree Creek meanders through Crabtree Meadow right here with uh, Mount Russell center screen sharp pointy peak Bill was saying uh, saw a couple of deer out there in the meadow already this is basically where the south trail uh, junction to Mount Whitney is there's one further north on the other side of the creek we decided to go ahead and uh, set up camp here because we basically came 10 miles there's Bill's tent there's mine over there we're actually pretty close to the trail here's the trail and down here met a lot of nice people a uh, young couple from Oakland her father used to work at the lab actually which was interesting and uh, this is where uh, I videotaped that the guy his wife and in-laws that were crossing when we did Muir and Whitney last year and uh, this water is just like pristine really really tasty and uh, we are ready to relax we stopped so early so tomorrow the goal is uh, Tyndall Creek and it is guess what another 10 miles so basically we've been doing 10 10 to 10 even though we did 11 yesterday about 10 today and uh, about 10 tomorrow to Tyndall Creek and that'll posture us at the base of Forrester Pass for the cresting of uh, Forrester Pass and here's the tent all ready to rock and roll. I'm thinking about uh, wearing the uh, ultras tomorrow to give my feet a break. I've been wearing the uh, Keens and they're not perfectly broke in so they've been battering my feet a little bit. I had to put some Luco tape on them. Anyway, so this girl here, her and her father summited Mount Whitney yesterday and uh, She's doing a little foot maintenance because of the blisters. But she had a good time and checked that box. So, anyway, here we are again at camp. Ready to relax for the night. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 